Hello and welcome to this week's video. Now, last week I spoke to you about uh, at the feet of Jesus, praying through the Bible. And uh, just 10 different steps to go through scriptures in the Bible and receive from that. Now, why do I think that that is important? That is um, very simple. And, and this, by the way, it will not be a long video because it's a very short point. Um, we always call it quiet time, and um, maybe our quiet time has been too quiet. And um, we're not expecting things in our quiet time. Uh, you know, we're not expecting God to speak in our quiet time because it's quiet time. Or, um, you know, we're just, we're just going to be quiet for, for some time, and then that was it. Um, not, not receiving any wisdom, not receiving any insight or something like that. And for if that happens in your quiet time, I can, I can totally imagine that it's frustrating for you to have quiet time because you're not getting anything from that. And if you're not receiving revelation or wisdom or uh, insight, and it's, it's costing you time, but you're not getting anything from it, then I can totally imagine that it's, 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 a, it's a struggle every week to actually find time for your quiet time. Now, um, and in that, I, I really want to say, you know, it's not for nothing that even in the Bible we can read that Jesus himself, during his ministry, during the three years, um, that he took time off and he went away from the crowds. He went away from his disciples. He went up to the mountain to pray and to spend time with, with God, with his Father. Now, if Jesus himself needed to do that, and may I remind you, that was not to build with his character, that's not to work through his things, it's, it's not to, to get to know his purpose, because he knew his purpose, right? But even he, if he needs to just take a step back from daily life, take a step back from everything that, uh, you know, and everyone that is coming and wants your attention, um, as my wife puts it, uh, everyone wants a piece of me. Um, uh, yeah, that is true. Everyone wanted a piece of Jesus as well. He didn't really have a lot of quiet time. He was there to serve us, uh, and still is, by the way. Um, so, but if even he needed to just take a step back, and take some time to really talk to his father and talk to God. Um, just in, just be there in intimacy with, with his father. That we should do as well. It's necessary. Um, because life will throw challenges at us. Um, the Bible also speaks about it, that he will give his beloved in the sleep. Now that... I've always uh, interpreted that as in when we're sleeping, we receive wisdom that then pops up during the day uh, for, when, for when we need it. So when there's a problem, a challenge at work, uh, or in our family life, or wherever we are at that moment, uh, the solution might already be in us because God put it there in the night. But on top of that, we don't just want to sleep when he's talking to us, we want to, you know, if, if he's our savior, why, why do we not want to spend time with him? But I understand as well that if you're not receiving anything in those times and you're just doing it because you, you feel like you have to, and it's, it's, uh, it's an obligation to do that um, without you seeing any impact on your own life, except for the time you, you lose, um, then I can imagine that it's, it's, it's not fun and it's not something that motivates you to keep on going with your quiet time. So I would really encourage you, you know, first of all, Jesus needed it himself. Second, try the method that I spoke about last week and, and do that because I've, I've seen that it works. I've received revelations about myself, about the work that I'm doing, about 
and my family about the problems that I run into just by sitting down, reading a scripture, praying through that, and just receiving from God in that. And I will share some of those in the coming weeks as well. So um, there's not, not much more to say about that. But, you know, Jesus needed it. How much more do we need it? To just sit down, take a step back, and take some time to spend with God. Now, I hope this was a blessing to you. If so, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, put those in the comments as well. Don't forget to, uh, to like or, and or subscribe to the video or to the channel. And um, I'll see you next week. Be blessed. You've listened to a podcast by the 1820 Foundation and fivefold.eu. For more information and contact, please visit www.fivefold.eu. We are a ministry and all the work we do is made possible from donations. If you would like to support us and contribute to the building of the kingdom, please also check out our website, the1820foundation.nl. Thank you for listening. Many blessings.